configuration options you have after creating a step is styling. In this video, you will learn a few common ways to style a tooltip. By default, the tooltip you create looks like this. It appears as a small box underneath the item you selected. Jump Seat gives you a lot of options to change the look and feel of a tooltip. Let's try a few of those out. First, we will change the position to Orphan. This means that the tooltip will appear in the middle of the page instead of directly underneath the selected option in the application. Often, this is useful to convey general information about a page that a user is on. I like to use Orphan tooltips as the first and last steps in my guides to act as a summary and an overview. Let's also change the size to medium, so that will appear wider. Let's save and take a look. Looks good. Now we are on another step, which has been configured differently. You can see that the tooltip has been configured to the bottom of the object because it doesn't obstruct anything important. We've also checked off the close sidebar button, which sets the jump seat console to automatically close when this tooltip appears on the screen so that the user can see the whole context of the page. Let's take a look at some of the other styling options. We've already talked about position, size, and close sidebar. Show title and tip can be unchecked if you prefer your tooltip to have body text but no header. This is good if you prefer the look of a minimal tooltip and the body text already says everything you need to say. I've chosen no title for this step. Show with previous step is useful if you want two tooltips to appear at once. For example, maybe one tooltip is informational and the second contains the call to action. Spotlight will dim the page except for the selected feature in order to draw more attention to it. Restrict element to trained users means that the tagged option in the tooltip will be deactivated until a user has completed the guide. This keeps trainees from using a feature in the application until they know how. You can even choose the color that appears over the element to indicate that it is restricted. Check the Wayfinding tooltip box if you want this tooltip to appear as a wayfinder instead of as a step within a standard guide. But before testing this option, view our training materials on wayfinders. You've just learned some simple ways to stylize the tooltips in your guide. Have fun playing around with the settings to see what looks best for your tooltips.